Murli sir, thank you so much for taking this time out to talk to Talking Movies with I Dream. It's a nice. pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, just few more days to go for Kabali to release. Yeah. You, you're the cinematographer of the film. This is just your third film, you know, in the past four years or something. And from mm. Andal Raksh, you started off with Andal Raksh, see, and then the third film is with Rajni Khan. So, do you see that as a big move for you? I don't know. It happened to me. <laughs> I never had a skill like this. Or actually, it's like I came in cinema as accident. Uh, when the first film had got it, I never thought actually I'm going to do with Rajni Gan sir or something. Uh, I never thought it. But it came on my my life actually. But I have to pick it up. Actually, right, right. when it comes to me, I took that responsibility. And the same way when I came to the first film, the same way of doing this also. Like that. You said cinema is an accident. Yeah. Uh, can you explain what what exactly did you mean by that? Yeah, from my childhood actually, I we are a film viewer. Actually, I love to watch films. Actually, like uh, from I never thought actually we we have to go to the film or something to work on the films. I never thought it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I I'm basically when I grown up uh, like after my basic studies, I went to uh, fine arts college. Mm. I'm a painter like that. Then after after some time. It's extended like it's after painting. The studies extend to me towards cinema, okay. but uh, that was the accident because uh, before, like um, when I was 28, that time only I decided to go to films. Actually. Before that, I never had a like. Uh, but I used to watch films a lot, like right. uh, now more than a normal audience. We used to watch right. like a worldwide films are like that. But when I when I was a 28, I decided like uh, we will also we will go to the technical side. Like that. Okay. So from uh, you mm. graduated painting, right? Fine yeah. arts. Right? Yeah, yeah, fine so arts. So what, what were you doing those for those five six years? Were uh, you working as a painter somewhere? Like yeah, yeah. I used to do installations. Like it's my style of work is installation art. Okay. Like that. I used to do like that. I used to exhibit in my uh, wherever the my surroundings. I used to do that. Okay. Uh, after that, I realized actually it's like uh, uh, painting. Uh, the idea is actually like a freezed frame. It will articulate you, uh, who's viewing it, who's mm. viewing experience. It it articulates the yeah. movements. Yeah. But film is not like that. Film right. itself has a movements. Movement, yeah. Then it's it's it, I felt it actually. The film is a recent days very powerful medium to communicate mm. uh, with with others. Actually, it, it it's very close to life, right. like that. Then I decided to shift it to painting to cinema. Yeah, okay. Like like that, I shifted. Like uh, we need a more expressive medium than painting, like that. Painting has a different uh, plus and minus. The cinema also has a plus and minus. But I felt it actually now. Reason is, film medium is the uh, the cinema, the right. moving, uh, the video is a more powerful medium to communicate. Actually, right. that's all. Now, what were you painting? Like, what are your favorite themes there that you were trying to uh, paint? My paintings are more like uh, more. More into my personal, actually, like I uh, yeah, it's like more into my personal, my personal connectivity, okay. like that. Okay, I, I never thought to uh, paint uh, for an exhibition or something. I never liked that. Whatever, actually, it, uh, my exhibition also very close circle. Actually, it's very close. To. Whoever like to see it, it's I'm not forcing to stop it. Right. But my my the way of expression is very close to me. Like, that. but film is not never. I felt like that. Never my it, in the sense like. Uh, Film is a more combined art. Or we have to express for somebody. We have to. Uh, we have to. Whenever actually we are shooting shots or whenever planning for a scene or something, we we mostly keep in mind of audience actually. Like, like where we are going to display this product. Where right. we are going to display our uh, ideas. We have to take a responsibility of who's viewing also. Right. Like that it goes. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so was the transition from being a painter to a cinematographer? Smooth or was it tough than you expected it to be? Yeah, for me it's very smooth because yeah. it's almost a visual medium. I okay. had to practice or whatever the visual elements to be in the part of life or how it reacts psychologically, visually, like that. It, it was very easy because when I went to film school, Pune Film School, uh, I might uh, technically to understanding the terms of uh, cinematography. Mm. It, for me, it was very difficult. But uh, the aesthetics of cinematography, like uh, how it it behaves, how it reacts, that was easy for me to better than the other students. Okay. okay. Uh, with me actually, right. like 
till now also i am very very weak student in technical side okay. but i have little confident about aesthetics sir because i've been through it i had a experience mm. through painting and colors and shapes or or composition these are the things actually help me during film sets like right, right. yeah i was reading one of your earlier interviews where you said that uh, paranjit the yeah. director of kabali he was your classmate or was it friends like from college? yeah he is my brother's classmate oh, my okay. brother also younger brother also like uh, he is also bfa student fine arts students okay. like my family is almost my mother used to draw lot of uh, drawings or painting that inspired me to get into painting so okay. something like that my younger brother also kesavan he is also painter he was uh, that college because uh, tamil nadu has a two colleges of uh, fine arts okay. one is in madras one is in kumbakonam i been a part of kumbakonam student okay. uh, ranjit is a chennai school like oh, a madras okay, okay. Uh, like so bfa but he is also like a fine arts student right. like most of the main of uh, kabali and madras team is mostly fine arts students been together and work together right right, right. I mean, did you know him even before you joined films no uh, not no not, not much not really. actually but we i know him actually when he approached me uh, for his first film attakatti okay that time i was uh, doing andal raksi see the last schedule huh. i couldn't join with him okay uh, then that from that time actually we had to talk through phones yeah, like yeah. we had some meetings before uh, yeah. after atagati is film also before his release also where there actually we got a connectivity like uh, through ideas how okay. he looks through the life what he want to make a political stand in the films yeah. it was it's very close to uh, me and him actually like that relationship uh, drag into the the next film we be together like uh, we can't make a brand new for actually rajnikanth <laughs> he is already like he is somewhere actually uh, like i know i i felt many times actually if i keep a frame for him like if there is a uh, thousands of people around him but the focus will go on him actually like that it is it's kind of magnetic power he has like that.